OK, Dwight. Stand by and roll playback. No matter what you're doing tonight, you can have a meal that is so right. The sweet taste of honey, char grilled batter, get some lick and chick onto your platter. Lick and chick, honey roasted chicken. Delicious taste. Don't forget to come down to the opening of our new shop in Wellington this Saturday. I'll see you there. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this. Would you wear it? Well, not personally, no. But I'm not a performer. Look, you two, I don't need any help looking like an idiot. Leave me out of it. It wasn't my idea. You couldn't look like an idiot. No. Yellow suit. White. Health department regulations. You can't serve customers without wearing a uniform. All right, then. I won't. Mate, I had to tell them you would. Don't bugger it up for us. Not so bad, is it? You might make crew member of the month if you're lucky, Dick. Nah, no, chin up, mate. It'll all be over. Regular pack to go, thanks. Are you happy with yourself? Pardon? I don't know how you can sleep at nights, mate. Seeing beautiful creatures abused. Harmless, intelligent birds. Oh, come on, just want to be a friend of oh. Just want their basic rights, but not nah, you. You pump them full of hormones, antibiotics, and then, then you kill them. Murderer! <laughs> Do I get a free meal if it's not ready in a minute? I'll write it down anyway. You never know when you might need me. Reasonable rates for a dangerous world. So, Dwight, drive right through them. Don't make eye contact, OK? Yeah, OK. Thanks, Khalid. Perfectly welcome. I'll send you the bill. I hate to see her in a bad mood. Go straight home now. Another headache? No, I just like the backing singers up a bit. Not without putting their faces on the album cover. It's good, Dad. Honest. What's the road? What's this? Have a read. Do you think it's her? Red light. I've got to go over there. To England? 
It's the only way I'll know for certain if it's her. Well, she's the one that walked out. But... Go. Go. Thanks, Dad. Knew you'd understand. It won't be much. Hey? Just the air ticket and a bit of spending money. I can't. Dad, you've got to. I don't have the money. Of course you do. No, I don't. Look, Bryce reckons this single's gonna be picked up by a record company. You could have some of that money. Bryce? Oh, shit, Dad. He's always doing this. Oh, for sure they wanted to. They're not releasing anything else this year. Spent their budget. No, it is. So the money from the ad is wasted? Well, it's not wasted. Someone will release it. You've been to every record company in the country, haven't you? Oh, quite, haven't you? Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Jesus. I'm on the bones of my bum. And you keep convincing me to throw money into recordings that haven't got a chance. Band we should be hooking into. Well, my boy, when you've been doing this as long as I have, you get a gut feeling for it. You can recognize talent. How are we going to make a buck in this business if you won't take on anyone who was born this century? I've got lots of prospects waiting for the right moment. Shit. A brick. Jesus, what happened to your face? Think about it. Chicken shop. Protesters. Ring any bells. Calm down. Calm down. This, this is a bloody death threat. And you got me into it. Might be better off dead anyway. At least that way I'll sell a few records. Worked for Elvis. John Lennon. Jim Morrison. Best career move they ever made. Get you in the papers, at least. It would. Seen it a hundred times. Star dies, album's back in the charts. Oh, bugger that. I haven't spent my life working on your career to have you flush it down the toilet. What's to flush? Look, as soon as my death hits the papers, everything I've ever done will become a collector's item. So we re-release your old albums? Exactly. Repackage them. Souvenir editions, collector's editions. Yeah, well, that's her. Then once we've milled that dry, 
we can discover the lost tapes. Hey? Well, you can keep recording. We just happen to find these old tapes in the vault. It's beautiful. Jesus, what are you talking about? You'd need a recording studio, a sound engineer. We can get Sonny from Elite. He'd do it. Imagine a towering figure in our musical history. It's perfect. Perfect? How would he get money? Well, Bryce, you, your brother's my lawyer. Surely we can work something out. Exactly. Oh, it can't be serious. I know it sounds extreme. Train. But think about it. You'll get the money to find your mother. Betty, you'll get an income for the rest of your life. You could even take that trip to Spain you've always wanted. And Bryce, well, he makes a nest egg for his retirement. Everybody wins. Oh, for God's sake, Dwight, grow up. Grow up? I'm tired of all this. I'm sick to death of my whole pathetic life. So I'm going to change it. Here you go. Sign your life away. This trust document replaces your old will. Backdated a couple of years, so one looks suspicious. Simple as that, eh? One little signature. And the 10K we're giving Uncle F to slip it into the files. Ten grand? Jeez, you two of us are thieves. Hey, it's more change to what you'll be raking in soon, mate. And so I can divert the money to you or pay it to Vicky. Suppose you'll be taking care of that, eh, Will? Better watch out, mate. She eats little boys like you for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think they'll expect to find my body? I think they'd be happy enough to eat even an old relic like you. You're gonna be in great company, D. Some of the biggies died in car crashes. Grace Kelly, James Dean, Buddy Holly. It doesn't look like much, but with a bit of work, it'll be fit for the king. I don't believe this. Come on, D. It's only for a while. I can't live here. What the hell were you expecting? Buckingham Palace. Oh, no. Dwight, this was your idea. You're just going to have to put up with it till we get some money through. Singing legend Dwight Sorrento is missing, presumed dead, after his car was found in the sea at Shark Bay. Police at the scene say they don't know why the car left the road before plunging 50 metres onto rocks. He was one of the most loved and talented performers this country's ever produced. I'll, I'll never forget the first time I heard him sing. He was a young lad fresh off the boat from the old country. I still get the same old
scorching hot new single from the late great Dwight Sorrento. Just ahead, we've got 30 minutes in three. I don't know why you're sounding so pleased with yourself. All the papers are saying you might still be alive. Darling, it'll be fine. You'll have enough money for England now. Yeah, I know. Just remember, when you get arrested, don't forget to tell them that I had nothing to do with this. Such a loyalty. Okay. See ya. Bye, love. Look at the old bugger's hiding. I won't be gone for long. Well, you were better than any scabby old real mother. I just want to find out where I got my amazing looks from. Find out who to blame, you mean? Yeah, I'll remember the first time I heard him sing. Late one night, most of the music has gone home. I got up there, took the microphone, and I just knew from the moment he opened his mouth this was going to be one of the great singers of our time. And boy, could he sell chicken. A much loved figure, maybe. Certainly in the late 60s, Dwight Sorrento had his photograph on the bedroom wall of every girl in the country. He got to the top with a, a whole string of mega hits. But suddenly, it was back to obscurity, following a paternity suit from an underage fan Iris Zender. So is he dead? Police refuse to speculate that his disappearance is some sort of hoax. A pub Look at this. Taste of Dwight. Straight into the charts at number 12. <laughs> Just like the old days. Oh, still remember, can you? I've had an idea. You've got all this time on your hands, and, and I know you've always wanted to write songs. <laughs> well, now's the perfect time. Well, imagine it. Uncovered. Songs not only sung by, but actually written by Dwight Sorrento. <laughs> yes? She must have followed you here. We've got enough problems with that. But... Who is this, please? Come on, Pilfer. Did you really think you could escape from me? You must have the long address. Abrela maldita poeta. Yes, Bryce Tilfer? Yeah, Detective Barrett. This is Detective Brown. We'd like oh, to yeah. ask you a few questions about your client, Mr. Sorrento. Oh, yeah, terrible thing. Now, when was the last time you saw Mr. Sorrento? Oh, well, uh, he came into the office on Monday, just hours before the tragic accident. Well, how was he behaving? Strangely? Oh, well, no, pretty normal for him.
Thinking of coming here. Dad is going to be seriously pissed about this. Oh, yeah? Which bit? I bet he was nearly killed, and that crazy bastard knows I'm still alive. How did he find me there? I don't know. He must have followed one of us. Shit, that you can't stay here. If someone sees you, this whole thing's going to turn to crap. We're talking jail here. Oh, we're not moving. Look, dear. You're going to find those bloody animal lovers and sort this out. But I have no way of. Someone just tried to kill me! Remember Colette Millam? And that was her boy Otis. Good to see you again, Dwight. If I'd known our last meeting would have led to a job, I'd have worn my good clothes. <laughs> Colette, you remember Betty? Hi, Betty. Nice hat. What are you doing here? <laughs> the answer was right under our noses. Love Meet your new bodyguard. It's police, ex army. Top class protection in an attractive package. So, are you happy now? Well, of course, I'm not happy. Oh, no offence, Colette, but... Here, take a look at this. Managed to find a plastic surgeon who believes in private enterprise. Huh. Everything from a splash of paint to adding a games room. Your own mother wouldn't recognise you, Dwight. How's it? You find him? They say they don't know the guy. Protest was the only time they've ever seen him. Ah, oh, shit, they're just trying to protect him. Yeah, probably right, Dee, but there's not much we can do about it. I'll get the police onto them. Oh, Jesus, Dwight. Well, the police don't take kindly to people faking their own deaths. Just relax. You're safe now that Colette's here. <laughs> Sorry about that. He found some peanuts in the back of Bryce's car. Salt makes him think he's bulletproof. He's allergic to salt. No, yeah, salt, sugar, MSG, most artificial colours, emulsifiers, some preservatives. What happens to him? All sorts. Most preservatives give him a rash. Red 23, shortness of breath. Green 150 would put him in a coma if he had enough. Sugar's the worst, though. <laughs> anyway, let's not worry about that, huh? The most important thing now is your safety, OK? The cops have taken out a court order. Unless they find a body, Dwight's money can't be touched. But they won't find a body. That's the law. If they find a body, well, you have to wait. Seven years. Seven years? They can do that? Oh, yes. Well, how are we going to get money to Dwight? Until we have a death certificate. All the money from his old music's frozen. Why didn't you warn us? Why didn't you do the job properly? It wasn't me who made the cops suspicious. I don't believe this. Seven years. Seven bloody years? Well, let's not point the finger, Dwight. And none of us could have known the police would get all shirty. So the money, my money, just sits there until they decide to release it? What about Vicky? Well, Vicky's just gonna have to wait. He's waited 20 years, what's another few? Well, are you gonna tell her? Oh, Jesus, Bryce. Where does that leave our plans for a new hideout? Well, do we get some money coming through? I'm not sitting around here hoping to stay alive until they decide that I'm dead! <laughs> Sorry, Otis. Now, mate. Hop. Go on, over there. Okay, good catch. Here he comes. That roasted gin. Serves him right to buy him the ship. Guess so. 
Hi. See you later. Don't forget, I'm cooking tonight. <laughs> Hey, V. William. What's this? Lunch or dinner? Hey, when you're hungry, Mum always told me. Something I can do for you? Shit, you guys are idiots. Don't worry. I got an idea to get you some money. What? Organ donation? Nah, even better than that. You're the daughter of a famous dead pop star, right? People are going to be interested in your story. Yeah, sure. Papers would play good money for an exclusive. Are you searching for your long lost mother? Who is she? Why did she leave? Where is she now? Just drop it, will ya? We use the media. You get them involved and they'll pay for you to find her. I don't want some newspaper knowing all about me. You don't have to. Just give them what they need. Imagine. Dead stars, love child and heartbreaking search. Well, you're being insensitive. What? I shouldn't have expected you to know what that means. Sorry, girls, but we agreed. Sacrifices have to be made. Well, think about it this way. That'll be the last one he ever eats. Pay only $9.99 for the new bike pack. Yeah! $9.99 for a life. That was not be sick. Pull this. That's nice. Just doing a little coin work. Yeah. Here. Try these on. Nice. I'm going to stick them in here. Good. Good. Speak up. I've got glasses sticking in my ears. Nice. What? Who's that? Have you intelligent? Where are you? I can't see you. That's the idea. No, come on. Take, no. Take her on. Take her on a grand tour of the city before I lose her. Give you a chance to get to the studio, all right? See you there. Back to normal by tomorrow. How do you manage? You get used to it. It does make it hard to get a babysitter, though. I tried putting him in daycare once. He hospitalized three kids on his first day. Can't you grab him? You're obviously worried about this. No, 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 not at all. I don't mind, Dwight. I mean, I know it looks strange, but it's no problem, really. In fact, it can be very effective. <laughs> Hair trigger 38 Magnum. Oh, yeah. Custom modified specially for my finger. Big stopping power. Accurate Pick that up. Cop car. Yeah, a bit of playing around, you might have something there. Can we get back to work, please? We've got to be out of here by morning. OK, Dwight. In five. <clears throat> I started a joke Which started the whole Oh, if I'd only... Shall 
I go and look? No. The rest of you stay here. Bryce, come with me. Yes? Bryce Telfer. Yeah? Have you got time for a little chat? Who are you? Do you mind if I come in? Yes, I do. I'm working with a new artist. It's very secret. So piss off. I started a joke. It started... I reckon this bodyguard plans to get them in the set before the week's out. Yeah, that'll be his first time of while. <laughs> yeah, how old are you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bill. What are you doing here? Just keeping my eye out for new talent. Yeah? What about the band? You're the only girl for me, B. How do you stay in this constant state of delusion? Luckily, I thrive on rejection. Hey, I've been doing a bit more work on that thing we talked about. What thing? You know, your life story. Had to talk to this reporter from the Southern Star. She seemed pretty interested. Just have to work out how much they'll pay. I'm not interested in selling my story. Don't think of it as selling. You're just using them to get what you want. They need the money. She's here. What? Miss Sorrento, read the location of your birth mother, I rescind them, and advise of their financial affairs. England in May of this year and has to date not returned to the car. She's left London. So she's probably back here. That's no reason to call off the papers. It'd be even easier to find it well, out. Well, no. Okay. I see you're busy. Give me a call tomorrow, okay? How do you discourage over eager me? Oh, you should tell him I like to be on top. You know, May was three months ago, long before this fake death was even thought about. She couldn't have come back because of that. She might have been coming back anyway. Yeah, maybe she was. to kiss me heaven are you too scared to fall it's great I know it doesn't suit my voice but if I could find someone with a higher range to sing it <laughs> what I said it's great Believe me, you don't want to hear me sing. Well, just hum, then. It's easy. Come on. <laughs> Heaven, are you too scared to kiss me? Heaven, are you afraid to fall?
liked his mother, has he? Give me Doku pay, I'll give her a raise. Shit! Could the death of Dwight Sorrento be an elaborate hoax? This exclusive speed camera photo shows his manager, Bruce Tilfer, with a mysterious man in the back seat. Is it the dead star? Is that a gun being held to his head? Jesus, we've got to get him out of here. Out of where, Bryce? Oh. Come on, Dwight. There's going to be a lot of media around today. Maybe you should just slip back to the hideout for a while. I'll be fine here. For a couple of days, just to be safe. No, no, I'll be fine. Right. Who's in for one of my famous omelets? <laughs> Cole? Want to give your insides a treat? Uh, no, thanks. I'll just have some fruit. I don't know what you're missing. Morning, Betty. Yes. Hey, Hody. Big catch. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Omelet, Betty? Just try it. Eggs, full of vitamins. And cover tea, Grace, do they? You know, Dwight, fair chance the TV will send the cameras around here this afternoon. I think it'd be bloody strange. Grace, I'm not going back to that hideout. Get the door. Don't let them in. Oh, morning, officers. How, how can I help you? We can start by telling us what that bang was. Oh, jump in, Dad. Have to get one of those switches itself. Or... Would you mind if we came in and asked you a few questions? Oh, it's not the best time. Just to... we would like to come in and have a chat. Perhaps if I came down to the station. What's going on here? Had a bit of a mishap with some firecrackers. <laughs> well, I know the boys would be young to be playing with them, but well, yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should come down to the station, Mr. Tilfer. Good work, bodyguard. Look after him until I get back. Wait a minute. Where the hell do you think you're going? To try and find him? Oh, shit, what a mess. Well, where else would he go? He ran away. What do you mean he ran away? He ran away. You haven't been out this morning? Jesus, will you? Are you sure he didn't come here? Shut up. Sit down. Keep quiet for a minute. Have something to eat. I'm not hungry. What's going on? I told you, he ran away. Come on, what is it? It's nothing. William! Well, Dwight's vanished. Mum's gone. What? Mum's left. She left Dad. When? Last week. Oh, shit, Will. I'm sorry. What happened? In the library, mate. Hey, come back here. Hey, I've been thinking. Forget about the papers. Forget I even mentioned it. I had forgotten you'd even mentioned it. Thanks, Vicky. Hey, good luck today, eh? You call me Vicky. Hey? You said my whole name. You called me Vicky. Don't worry, it won't happen again. <laughs> 
See you, Will. Later. Look, we've just got to track down this crazy group he's a part of, the animal lovers or the meat haters, whatever they are. They're against the exploitation of animals. You could learn a lot from them. What do you mean? I like animals. Yeah, when they're cooked. What would you do if you found them? Morning. Oh, hi, Jen. Um, this is... Have you spoken to God today? Certainly that morning. I haven't spoken to anyone. Would you like to sit with us and share the good word? No. I'm busy. I can't do anything now. I've got to go to your funeral in a minute. I'll hide in your bedroom until you get back. Then we can go and find... Eternal forgiveness in the arms of our blessed Lord. You see, my child, things are... She'd find you. I think she snoops around in my room when I'm not here. Hey. It's dead. Come with me. To the funeral? I need you to help me find my mother. What? I think she's gonna be there. You said she was in England. Well, she was, but she's here now. There's been this woman following me around, spying on me. If she comes to the service, you could identify her. But, but I can't be seen there. Dead. I can't go to the funeral. There'll be cameras all over the place. Please. Darling. I can't. Here she is. Where's the Jack? The woman in glasses. until I think what to do. I have to go to a hospital. Oh, brilliant. I'm going to call the TV news now and give them your room number. I've been poisoned. How do you know that? What else could it be? We can't go to a hospital, right? I could die. Look, even if they didn't recognise you, they'd have to report it to the police. Colette! I could die! We need something analysed. Yeah. What's the... We had a little accident. 
you, you have to... No! Go. We're in a bit of a hurry. Okay, okay, um, sit down, sit down here. Oh, I think I've been poisoned. I'll need an antidote. I don't know exactly... Ah! Who's that? Ah, she works in here. Oh, shit. Not again. Never! Oh, Jesus. We gotta go. Is he gonna be okay? Uh, he seems fine, but I won't know for sure until we get the blood test back. How long? Um, day or two. Day or two? I could be dead. Nah, if it was that lethal, you'd be dead already. Uh, is there a number I can reach you on? You keep this to yourself. gonna trap him. Boy, he's a killer. I don't care. I need to know what was in that syringe. What makes you think he's gonna turn up again? Of course he will. He's been following my every move. Oh, come on, Dwight. Shit, Bryce. We can't keep running from this mad bastard. It's not dignified. Shit, I hope you know what you're doing. It'll be fine. I'll call you later. Okay? So, you hungry? I found it in the back of the car. I think it's okay. No, thanks. I've kind of gone off poultry. Oh, sometimes I just crave a piece of cooked bird. Life's been such a health farm since I had Otis. He's not allowed it. Are you kidding? He'd swell up till he exploded. What's it got in it? MSG, orange dyes, sweeteners, enough salt to kill a horse. Are you sure? Dwight, what do you think you've been selling? that again. Bet, where are you going? Out! <laughs> Music and show business personalities were out in force today at a memorial service for singer Dwight Sorrento. Immediately after the service, members of the congregation were startled by a display of dangerous driving from a chicken delivery vehicle. Police who were present at the scene are now investigating the oh, incident. Oh, shit. Is Don't worry. No! Look! For TV4 News. Otis, no! Come on, Pumpkin. You know what happens? If you're hungry, I've got, I've got some oat crunchy in the cupboard. Otis, good catch. <laughs> good catch, mate. Well done, Mr. Sorrento. What's happened to his face? Mm, it's just a rash. I touched him after I'd been eating. Hey? The licking chick. I must have had some on my fingers when I touched his face. That's from the chicken? Yeah. Christ. <sighs> Dwight, tell me about Vicky's mother. Iris? Yeah, Iris. spent one night with her. Then she announced she was pregnant. I had lots of girls claiming I was their baby's father back then. So? Bryce said we should just... ignore her. Bryce said to ignore her? Hmm. Didn't quite work out the way he'd planned her.
lessons. Dwight, I'm sorry. I can understand how Vicky must feel. Yeah. Me too. The woman at the funeral, was that her? I don't know. I don't remember too much about it. Means a lot to Vicky, doesn't it? Finding a mother. Bathroom. About two minutes ago. Well, what are you going to do now? Shit, I don't know. But Bryce, but... just get over here. Okay. Okay, I'm on my way. What's going on? Oh, nothing much. Just got to go out for a minute or two. Why are you doing this? Do you know how your licking chicks slaughter harmless creatures? You dunk. Oh, they give them an electric shock. They pass out. And then... then they're beheaded. Their heads cut off. Well, that's just what I'm gonna do to you. Yeah! I'm gonna cut your head off. Then I'm gonna pluck your hair out. And then I'm gonna gut you! Okay, gut okay, okay, you! Okay, okay, okay. Was in that syringe? <laughs> You're gonna find out, mate. What do you mean? <laughs> You're gonna find out. What? <laughs> Quick as I could. Anything happened? The bastard wants to cut me. Hey? Pluck me, stuff me, probably cut me into little bits and eat me. We'll have to kill him. Oh, Dwight, calm down. Let's just talk to him. We can work out what to do from there. If you make any sudden moves, I will shoot you!
Morning, all. Ready to go? Jesus, what? What the... We rang the hospital for the test results. All he could say was, have you been eating a lot of poultry lately? Hey? Hormones. He pumped me full of bloody chicken hormones. Don't even think it. <laughs> have you told anyone? Tell her, what do you think? Not even Will. For God's sake, what's your problem? This crazy bastard's not working alone. What are you talking about? I'm talking about double-crossing, Rice. Oh, no, Dwight, you got it wrong. Afraid not, Rice. I saw him riding away after that lunatic escaped. Hey? Will. Will? Yeah. Oh, no, Dwight. I know he's a bit loose sometimes, but... The surgery. You definitely didn't mention it to him. No. Right. There's only way that my money is through Vicky. I've seen him sniffing around her. You've got to look after my daughter, Bryce. Yeah, sure, Dwight. You can rely on me. Iris Sender. She would have arrived about three months ago. You got any idea how many people come into this country every month? Isn't it on the computer? Of course. But it's all classified information. I can't tell you how much this would mean to me. I, uh, don't know what to tell you. I can do the face, of course, but, uh, I need days. Just get on with it. Khalid, why don't you uh, stay here with Dwight for a minute? I'll just get scrubbed up. I'll see you later, Dwight. Right. Don't forget about Vicky. Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of Vicky. Hi. You got a phone? Bike's got a puncher. Nobody's going to be asking him for Dwight Sorrento's autograph. Dwight Sorrento? Wasn't he killed in a car crash? How are you going to stop him coming after you? Oh, I don't think the police would be too impressed with a deformed madman who claims to be a dead pop star. Here it is, Iris Zinder. Arrived flight 1962 from London, 26th of May. So, um... Is there an address for her? No, oh, nothing like that. What's this? Oh, let's just see. She's female, 150 centimetres tall, travelling with a child. A child? Yeah. Male. Six years old. Look, um... <laughs> That's Lorene. She's my oldest. I like to think she looks young for her age, eh? This is Chrissy. There you go. <laughs> it's Denise. It's Sharon. It's Taz. Where'd you get them all? Most of them are battery hens are busted out. <laughs> you make it sound like prison. It's worse than prison, mate. Farming these beautiful creatures, it's got to stop. Shit together. Don't worry, dickhead. It's all sorted. Have you got a problem with guns? No, Tilfer. It's just what he'd expect. I've got my own way of doing things. <laughs> <laughs> Your way isn't working. 
If it wasn't for me, you'd still be trapped in Sorrento's bath. Bullshit! You keep off my back. I've got it all under control. I'm handling this myself now. Tufa, you couldn't kill a conversation. I've had more than enough of your stuff-ups. Keep away from him. Don't tell me what to do! Stop! You'd love to be a doctor, wouldn't you? Divvying the assets is at the discretion of the trustee. So his daughter, say, has no way of making sure she gets anything? Well, no. Th that's why Dwight would have chosen Bryce to look after things. That's why they call them trusts. Dwight, come on. Don't forget about Mickey. Come on, wake up. Quickly, come on. Look. Ah. We have got to get out of here. Well, hey, Come on! What happened about I? Dwight, you heard him say it. Will doesn't know anything about the surgery. Price? Yes! Oh, God. Vicky. What? He said he'd take care of Vicky. Yeah? He's got to take care of her. Shit, we have to find her before oh. he does. <laughs> What do you want? Is Vicky here? Ma? Where is she? <laughs> what should I tell you? Sorry, where? Biddy. She went to see Biddy. Thanks for your cooperation. The bodyguard? Oh, come on. Bet? Six-year-old boy? It must be her. So who's the spec wearer that's been following you around? I don't know. She's probably from the papers. Or a cop. She's not here. Well, do you know where she went? What do you do if I don't tell you? Um, stay here and wait? <sighs> Piss off. She's gone to see Betty. Thanks, Jay. How could he not recognize her? Honey, if I could remember all my one night stands. She was nothing special. You wouldn't say that if you'd seen her in action. I've seen all the action from her I can stomach. You must know who she is. Why hasn't he told me? Bryce. I should have known that little shit Will couldn't have worked this out on his own. Why would he do it? I don't know. I've got to get dinner in the oven. You're staying? You're cooking? Yep. My meatloaf. Uh, I'm kind of busy. Right. You get the most burnt bit. <laughs> Delifty also.
Yeah, it did. <laughs> hey, it's not that bad. And the food here is a hell of a lot better. <laughs> Sorrento. What? Why? You've killed... You've killed more times than I can bear to think about. Bullshit! I... I just did some ads! You haven't see harmless creatures slaughtered! Okay, fine. I admit it. I was wrong to Chicken kill him. has spilled for you and now you're gonna pay! You're gonna go! Shut up! <sighs> you all right? Why didn't you tell me? <clears throat> what? Can you tell me she's my mother? Dead? Dead? Mum and Dad! <laughs> 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 door a couple of years ago. Haven't been able to bend it since. We can get Vicky back, Dwight. You and me. Betty. Where's Betty? Stay here. Betty? Betty? God, we finally got rid of that thing. <laughs> hey, Baldy, you better get my girl back. T. Jesus, what's happening? to do some baby swapping. You're going to get my daughter back, or he's dead. Back from where? I know you hired this killer. He's got Vicky, and I want her back. Now. OK. OK, Dwight. Do what I can. 
Call me back when you've got her. He's got Vicky. And you didn't know, I suppose. Jeez, of course not. I only just found out that Bryce was working with this guy. Save it. Let me help you get Vicky back. I know where this guy lives. You know where he lives, but you've got nothing to do with him. I followed him the other day when Bryce sprang him from your bathroom. I trailed him back to his place. You little shit. Yeah. 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 Factory about a mile past the railway station. You've been waiting, Miss Vicky. You're going to pay for this, Bryce. That's the place. You wouldn't believe it inside. Hundreds of chickens. Shut up. What do you think? I think you look better with hair, old fella. Give me the gun. Right now. Dad, why are you Shut doing... Up, Will. How could you do this, Bryce? After all you've got out of me. All I've got out of you. You've got to be joking. You've done all right. I made you. And what I get? 30 years of thankless bloody work. And then you threw it all away. And for that, you'd take my life. You've taken mine. I pandered to you all those years. Did you ever thank me? Do you ever take an interest in me? What are you talking about? You're so bloody selfish, Bright. You never even noticed my wife had left me. You never even wondered why she wasn't there every bloody night. When did... No, I know. No, no, too late to care now. When she left, Dwight, I realised. I've got bloody nothing. Dad, some of that money belongs to Vicky. Vicky? <laughs> Jesus. Vicky was a mistake. If he'd taken my advice back then, she wouldn't even enter the equation. <laughs> if Vicky was mine or not, it doesn't matter now. If I have my time again, I'll do the same thing. Now, get up. Let's go. Here, Cat Sorrento. I was wondering what you look like plucked. Get her out of the car. I'll bring her here.
Hi, kid. Will I call your mum? No, Dad. Well, what are you gonna do? We're going to the police. To the police? Oh, you wouldn't dare. Oh, yes, I would. This crazy chicken man kidnapped me. And then a bloke who used to be my manager and my mate faked my death to get his hands on the money from my estate. Not bad. No, I'd still my word against yours. And mine, Dad. I'm with Dwight. Oh, no, will you be implicated? Not by me, he won't. I'd be happy to shoot you now, Bryce. But I want my life back. And I'm gonna get it. Let's go. We're gathered here today to say goodbye to our dear sister, Betty Junkett. A good friend to many, she lived her life to the full and set such a wonderful example to anyone who met her. Oh, please. You know, I only have to look at you all here today <laughs> to see in your Colette's not the only one with a six-year-old boy. Of course you're saying. You didn't really think she was Iris, did you? But God is here to help you. Dwight and Colette got married a couple of weeks later. And Iris, she You're went back to England. After she met Vicky, of course. Well, I ask you all to think on this. But just as a gardener, she just wanted to make sure her daughter was happy. To place on his table. So to the Lord, often Not too happy. To it's a bloody funeral. To stand by his side. Now I'd like to begin with a special song. It was written by Dwight Sorrento, whom Betty worked for for most of her life. And today, it's going to be performed for us by the Young Christian Boys Rock and Roll Group. Thank you, boys. Oh, God. singing to someone who could hold a tune. He writes the songs now and produces the albums All You Life. Rich, happy, successful, vegetarian. Heaven, <laughs> are you too scared to kiss me? 